Yep. This uh, book review is on Mark Gimenez, The Color of Law. This book, actually, the uh, history with me with this book, I was in a uh, book club and I was outvoted. This is one or two books I was outvoted on, and I was pleasantly surprised about it. Um, this book is a, is a really is a, is a thriller mystery with it also. So uh, what this book is is about a young lady named uh, Shawana Jones, who's a black lady, uh, a prostitute. Dallas, the story is based in Dallas, Texas, um, and the color of the law, where, where, where that title comes in, is that she uh, was picked up by a senator's son, who offered her $1,000 for the night, and then, uh, and the story went from there, I, I don't want to spoil it, so I'll leave what happened from there out, uh, but you definitely want to take a look at it, but let's, let's read it or audio, either way. So it was based in Dallas, Texas again. Um, so it was a lot of nice, there's a lot of cool cowboy slang in it, uh, which is nice. It is a lot of lawyer, courts, uh, political, because by being the senator's son, he the senator wants a, a quick conviction, say she pretty much just murdered him and and then just went from there and go and and, and it goes from there. But Scott, that's the lawyer who was put on the case, he was put on a case just to get her to confess, but uh, and then he figures out that she's saying that she's innocent, but again I won't tell the whole story because it's a thriller and, and a little mystery there. Um he grows a conscious and it's not a typical book where uh like you know the lawyer grows a conscious and it, you can, it's easy to follow yeah it, it's uh and it's easy to figure out where it's going it's not um it's a lot of stuff that he went through with trying to help her out as well with trying to actually really defend her instead of um the senator getting his people to get him on a case to get her to, to make to go for a plea deal but um, the the lawyer Scott is his name in the book is he, he, he goes through a lot because he starts to try to really defend her and that's totally against what the senator wants what his law officers want because a federal it's a federal crime because she killed the senator's son because the senator appointed him as a uh, in a, uh, a federal position, so uh, it was federal crime, so that's why I was in federal court. His law office don't want to upset a federal judge, so they have to do what he wants. They want to get this over quick as possible, but they won't, don't want the negative publicity. This guy, Scott, been with the company 11 years. On top of that, he got his house, cars, everything set up through the bank that deals with his law firm, so it's a lot that he put on the line. Uh, for this, but it's a thriller. It's exciting. It's a page turner, um, and um, it's it's a book that you'll want to. You can keep up with the characters, like right? because sometimes with these books, it'd be so many characters, and you gotta like, okay, what was who was this person again? And you know, it's none of that. Uh, it's easy to keep up with as far as the characters, and the author of uh, Mark Gibbon, as he, he you know he does a whole bunch of. You know, done so many books. I mean, you know, he, everybody knows he's good. But this particular book, he did a good job with painting uh, the pictures in your mind, what people may look like, the scene, what people are doing. In one part when they was all at the golf course and they was talking about a lot of uh, legal lawyer stuff and how they was going about it. He did a really, does a really good job with it. It's a really good, really good book. Um, I, I would recommend it. Like I said, I was surprised about this one. But um, as I um, started to tell people about it, I was going to do a review on this one. A lot of people tell me that they um, that they know about this book, and they um, some people read it. So I, I didn't know that this book was uh, was that popular. Yeah. But again, it's based in Texas, which is really nice. You kind of get that. He really paints the the Texas street, uh, how it would look, the field, the Texas summer, the 
you know, the, the AC, having to jump in and out of buildings, the AC and all that, but uh, not to give it up, but a great thriller, a great mystery, and like, this book, I believe, maybe like 400 some odd pages, something like that, I remember when I was told, uh, that's the book we're going to be reading in the book club, um, I was like, 400 something pages, oh, and at that time, I was like, yeah, but it's not that bad, it's, it's the, the 400 pages go by quick, because it's a, it's a good read, and you want to see what's happening. Um, it's not like it's a bunch of just filler pages, you know, that it, everything goes with it, makes sense. So, yep, so again, that is Mark Gimenez's The, the Color of Law. Actually, this is a good storyline for, for, for these days now. The Color of Law. There's a lot of stuff with The Color of Law right now. So, and they get to show you how a lot of lawyers and stuff operate behind the scenes with this stuff. Um, and and political um, how they work with the, the law so it's a good it's a good read give you some insight into some other things I think it's nice all right oh and uh, uh, like the page and uh, and follow uh, thank you